So right now I just woke up and I need to go ahead and get ready for work. As you can see, I don't, I'm not wearing any clothes on. I, I'm completely naked right now. So I got work from 2 to 6 p.m. at the bank and then I got a shift at my university from 6 to 9. So that's kind of the game plan for today. All right, so right now I'm at my girlfriend's house and I usually only ever come here because she like makes me stuff. Joking. I'm joking. She's honestly really nice. She always makes me breakfast oh, nice. and makes me smoothies and whatnot, so thank you. That's not how you cook an egg. Oh. You know I'm recording you. Oh. Hurry up. All right, so I thought it'd be interesting to let you guys know what I always keep in this bag. Uh, that I carry around. I know you guys have probably noticed I always keep it with me everywhere that I go. I want to get a new one just because this is like a gym bag. It's not really meant to carry the stuff that I have in here, but you know, it, it, it works for now. So number one, I always keep my water bottle in here. I always keep my phone charger. You gotta keep your phone charged. I always keep my headphones on me just in case I want to listen to music or edit videos without disturbing people. Nail clipper, you gotta Cut those nails or else they get all gross. Charger for my uh, camera. Sunglasses for when it's sunny. Mouse and mouse pad. I always, always, always have my laptop with me everywhere that I go in case I need to edit something or do something with my channel or whatever uh, right away. I keep my uh, two terabyte expandable uh, storage just so I can put all my videos and clips onto here so I can save it for later. For some reason I have uh, probiotics in my, in my bag. I don't... I don't know why that's in there. <sighs> All right, so I got work now. I just got here and, you know, it's pretty gloomy out, but it'll be okay. You know, it's not that sunny, but we're gonna have to deal with it. All right, so I'm done work. And now we are off to the call center to do my second job at the university. I always feel like I'm out of breath by the time I go up this hill. It's just a long hill and I'm always running up the hill. That way I can get to my second job as fast as possible. So that's the hill just to give you some perspective. It's not a long hill, but like I'm literally sprinting to my car uh, once I finish working at TD, just so you know I can get to my second job as fast as possible. That one's not that late. Right before shift, I did get a bag of McDonald's just to eat because I was starving, so I needed to eat something. But anyway, I gotta go. There's the call center right there. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Peace. All right, so I just got back home from the call center and I'm gonna read some more subscriber comments since it seems like a lot of you guys uh, do enjoy that. So we got this awesome comment from Marnie McKenzie and she says, Hey Taryn, I am a 2017 Guelph grad and it's so nice to see you enjoy and make the most of university like I did. Guelph was seriously the best decision I have ever made. I truly miss being a student even though I'm doing research now on campus. Keep being you. Woo! And then I replied to her and I asked her, thanks so much for the comment. And I asked her what type of research she was doing. And she said, I do research on dairy cows across the road at the OVC. So that's pretty cool. If you guys don't know, the OVC is the Ontario Veterinary College. So I think that's the, it's the only one in only Canada. One in Ontario. It's the only one in Ontario. So it's a pretty big deal for her to be able to get the type of research for stuff that she cares about. Here I got another comment from Joshua Harder and he says, do you still play COD? Been here since the first day of Mystical Prime. So I actually do remember this guy. He's been a subscriber of mine for God knows how long, I can't count. He's been following all the YouTube channels I've ever had. So if you guys are new and you've never met me before besides this channel, I used to run a gaming channel where I had about just under 12,000 subscribers and I'd upload a lot of gaming videos. So that's kind of where he's coming from with that comment. But to answer his question, um, I haven't been playing COD for the past couple of years, but I have been gradually getting into it. Right, something that just kind of came on my mind was that I totally understand and I totally get it that every single day I'm kind of just doing the same things like not every day I'm gonna be doing something elaborately fun most of my life is spent working and 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 you know spending time not filming and then doing fun things but that's but that's what I really like enjoy about this it's like I feel like it's authentic 
it's it's real and it, it's it kind of just shows you that like people's lives are a lot more normal than you make them out to be I feel and I feel like people kind of can get sad sometimes and they look at social media and think damn like that person's life so awesome he's always doing awesome things but with this vlog and these th next 300 and odd days that I'm gonna be uploading every single day you're gonna see that not all the time I'm doing fun things but some days like today and every other day I'll be I'll just be going to work and coming home and just talking and just showing up here on YouTube and just uploading a video and I I don't know I like I like that whole mantra and concept I don't know Did I sound crazy or no what do you think of what I just said anyway thank you guys so much for watching I'll catch you guys all in another video peace